Hi, I'm Travis, one of the co-founders of Coursebox, and today I'm going to go through the four-step process to generating a course. The first thing to do is describe your course, and that could be as simple as how to ride a horse, or it could be a bit more complicated, like write a course on gas test atmospheres, and that might be all I want to do, just describe it. Or if I've created a course structure, then I'll copy in my structure and click next. Now there's a few other options here, two other options. The first one is you can select to write your course in over a hundred different languages, or you can click create a course manually, which overrides all of these steps and you can just create a course by giving it a title, a description and create each page manually one at a time. And we do have an AI authoring tool within the page editor too. But if I want to continue through this four step process, click next. Second step, train AI on existing content. Now the difference between that first step and second step, first step is I can really define the structure that I want. But in this second step, I'm going to train the brain of the AI. You can paste in YouTube links, websites, or upload your own files. I'm going to drop in a PDF in this example. Down the bottom, it says combine knowledge with ChatGPT. I can untick that. So if I've preloaded the, what's called DaVinci with enough of my own content, I might want to deselect that. Uh, today, I'll just leave it selected and there's a character limit of 11 million here. Click next, describe your learner. Now, the better you can describe your learner, the better the outcome, because this will personalize the journey for that type of learner. For example, you know, a 15 year old school child in Algeria learning maths will be a very different output to a 45 year old female in the States learning thermonuclear Hour. Uh, so yeah, describe your learner as well as you can. Uh, in this case, I'm going to tailor it to engineers on oil rigs in Perth. And this is step four, basically how many pages do you want this course to generate for you? Now it's giving five learning objectives, which is fine. I'm going to tone down the number of overall lessons. A lesson is a bit like a chapter in a book and in those chapters are topics or pages. So we'll just say three pages in each lesson, three topics. And at the end of every lesson, there's going to be a quiz and there's going to be assignment. And we're also going to generate an overview lesson at the beginning to set learning ob objectives and outcomes at the start. And I might pump up how many questions will be written in each quiz. Happy with the 100% pass grade, 50% for the assignments. That's pretty reasonable. Actually, I might pump that up to 80. How many words in an assignment? 100, that's all right, it's about a paragraph. How many words for each page? I might want that to be a bit bigger. So I'll say 300 words and how many references. So it'll generate some recommended reading. When you're happy, click next and it will generate a course outline. In instructional design, we'll often call this the high level design. And it's a good chance to then refine that further and delete topics or lessons that aren't appropriate or edit those or add more. Okay, great. So we've got a title, a description, uh, learning objectives and tags, and that will all form part of the about page, your learning page for your learners. Then we have five introductory pages and then the actual learning content in lessons two, three and four. And you can edit any of this and just add a topic if you want to add something a little bit further. Case study on gas equipment, and you can add another quiz topic, or when you're ready, just click the bottom button. There's also this option automatically write content. You can turn that off if you just want blank pages and you 
do it yourself. But if you want the AI to generate it, leave that on. And we just click the button, which will generate your course. And once you enter the course, uh, you can start the editing process. Okay, thanks very much.